Hey there, it's Hamza again and we're back with a new video outside the scope of traveling and, and unboxing but this is going to be more educational. So a month after buying my MacBook Pro, uh, it's a pretty decent computer but there's one issue. The memory is so bad. It is so bad. It is, it is her tremendously horrible. It is really bad. I think I got my point through but it is terrible. It's terrible. I, I used up all my memory already and I'm done with it. So to overcome this issue, I said, hey, I have two options. My first option is I'll go out into the market, buy myself an external drive, and hopefully they'll come through. But I said, you know what? I don't want to spend money. I have a computer in my basement. Why don't we pull that up, connect it to the internet, and make it into a file database? So that's what we're going to do today. And uh, let's hope it works. And if it does work, if you're facing the same issue like me, then why not? Yeah, so stay tuned. So right here, we got our IBM computer. So the good thing about working on computers is that you can get your hands dirty too. So I'm on the ground and this is what we're going to do right now. So uh, right here, we got our power supply right here. We're going to connect our power. And over here, we, we're going to connect all of our peripherals. And we have our old HDMI. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called, but... We'll have to do some research, you know, I'm, I'm a 2000s baby, not a 1980s baby. <laughs> and then we got our Ethernet cable right here. Ethernet port, I mean. And we're just going to hook it all up. It should display onto the monitor. I should have full control of this. And uh, we'll be able to um, set everything up and hopefully create a server that actually works for me. Now, the minute that we've been waiting for, will this power on? Oh my god, it's working. Let's show on the screen. Oh, it's powering on. Whoa, it powered on Windows XP. Holy, this feels like I'm going down memory lane right now. Look at that. This was what we used to play on back in the day. That is crazy. Before we get to anything, these file folders right here, this is where I first started programming in grade 6. And it's pretty sick because uh, I wonder if all my programs are still here, which I tried making in, in Eclipse back in the day. I know for a fact, oh, C++, oh, this game brings some bad memories for me. So, uh, back in grade 6, I tried learning C++, which I still do fairly have some knowledge about. And I tried making a game, a mathematical game, uh, for my brother and sister. And uh, after a little while of uh, trying my best to make it, I just gave up and gave up on it. <laughs> so this is a file folder. Let me see if I can pull up the code. I forgot how to do this. I think I got to click on C project. Oh, I don't think I have it anymore. Oh, never mind. But it's unfortunate. I, I wish I could show you guys, but... Yeah, never give up on your dreams, man. Uh, one day you may achieve something good, right? <laughs> there you go. That's pretty sick. This went on my uh, documents right here. I'm just going to leave it here and uh, jump onto here and create a new folder here. So what are we going to call this folder? We'll call it Shared Documents. So we call it shared documents, right? And this is where we're going to store everything which we want to back up onto our database so we can free up some memory on our computer, on our Mac. So what do we have to do now? What we got to do is make this a public file on our network. So if you jump over to properties, you go on to sharing, and then to share with this folder with other users of this computer, only drag it to the shared documents folder. We're not going to do that. Now what we need to do is network sharing and security. As a security measure, Windows has disabled remote access to this computer. However, you can enable remote access and safely share files by running with network setup wizard. That's what we're going to click on. We clicked on that. We're going to click next. We're going to click next again. And let's see what happens now. Let's hope it works. If it works, then uh, we're going to have a public file then. 
So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to choose the second option here, which is this computer connects to the internet through a residential gateway or through another computer on the network. We're going to click next. And what are we going to do? Uh, what should we give the description? File database. I'm going to call it that. I want to be technical about this. We click next. We'll call it MS Home. Now there you go. We're just connecting over uh, to our network right now, sharing the file, and let's see what happens. It's a pretty nice thing that we're doing. So we're going to choose the last option, and there you go. It says we must restart our computer. And that is what we're going to do. Now the computer is going to restart. There you go. We're just going to log in again to our admin account. And it's going to welcome us again. Thank you, XP. Thank you. And I love this. And let's jump over to our files again. My computer. We'll jump on to Hamza's documents and shared documents. There you go. Now we're going to try to access this from our MacBook Pro. So what you're going to do is once that's all set up, you're going to go over to your Mac over here. Go to go. Connect to server. And then now what we got to do is enter our IP address. Hmm. Our IP address. Okay. How do we find our IP address? All you got to do is go into command prompt here. All right, so uh, to get our IP address from the XP, where what we're going to type into the screen is IP config, and it'll show us everything. Everything from IP address to everything. So what we need to do is find our IP address, which is right here. And then what we're going to do is move down to our Mac and enter in our IP address right here. We're going to connect. Let's see what happens. Did I do this right or did I do this wrong? Let's see. It's going to take us time. And there you go. You are attempting to connect to a server right here. We're going to click connect. Now we got to enter in our password. Enter in our password. There you go. We're going to go on to our right there and look at that we're officially connected to my computer here we can open up our files now do whatever see if you go on my network we'll see all our other things and this is my computer right here and now we can go on anything in my shared files and there you go this is how you connect to a folder onto your computer so uh, before we conclude this, what I'm going to show you how uh, easy this is. So now there you go. We got this document right here. Pulled it right into our database right here. Shared docs. And it shows up right here. If you go over here, same thing shows up over there. Is that not sick? Shared documents. You go into that. This is our file right here if you open it up. I don't I hope I have Microsoft. Oh, I do. There you go. It shows up right here. Now, this is a pretty good way to share your files and everything. Across different platforms, if you have many computers at home, you can share your uh, documents between all of them, connecting them to this one server over here. As you see, I have quite a few servers too. One is my old laptop. One is my other thing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> many files. But this is a great way uh, to share your files in a secure way um, in an area where you know Google isn't going to be <laughs> peeking into your files, right? So it only takes like five minutes to do. So rather than throwing out your old computers, you might want to consider doing this. If you like this video, subscribe for more. Let me know where I can improve and we'll make better videos and uh, greater videos for the uh, future.